M&M's, candy, chocolate. No M&M's. Thank okay. you. That was a local market in Plovdiv. I just arrived last night from Sofia. Took a two hour bus directly here. It was uh, eight euro. And I'm staying right at the base of the old town. So, we're about to walk past some locals. Just videotape some local life here. I don't know if they're waiting for a bus or just hanging out. But, um, Sofia definitely has a distinct urban vibe when compared to Plovdiv. Um, Plovdiv seems much more relaxed. More like a small town than anything else. You can feel that as soon as you enter. Some of the people were warm and friendly and it's a, a pretty cool difference from uh, Sofia. Anyway, I'm guessing this is from the Soviet era. Here's the little neighborhood. All right, so let's go up in the old town. I, I don't have anything planned. I didn't research anything ahead of time. This will just be a quick, uh, like, first reaction to Old Town. Really just a walkthrough of what it looks like on first glance. So there's all these cobblestone streets and these rocks are huge. Big gaps, like it's even hard to walk on this roads because there's such variation between the different rocks. You can hear the car, right? Anyway, there are all these, well, let's take a look and see what it says. A little description. Sanko Lavronov, popular painter. Okay, so a painter's house, it looks like. And this is significant. Let's see if we can... Look at this. So this is all Old Town right here. Get a good idea looking at this little description here. Oh, okay. Orthodox Church. Cool. Let's carry on. It's, um, it's like 11 in the morning. So this place hasn't really woken up yet. Not a lot of people on the streets. Quiet. Here's one thing to know about Plovdiv. The center area is hilly. Sorry, the center area is flat. But this old town section is nothing but a big hill. <laughs> so if you come here and you visit it, be prepared to walk up some hills. Beautiful. Um, but I think it's worth it because supposedly you get some nice views when you get to the top of these hills. That's what we're doing. How are you? Guy looked at me but didn't say anything. It's always a weird experience. Okay. 
here's another historical thing. Let's just take a look. It's the uh, the inside. Pretty cool. Hello. Hello. Fucking <laughs> weird interaction. And oh my god, look at this building. It's gorgeous. Let's see, I think we're getting towards the top here. I'm sure a lot of people take pictures right underneath this arc. Let's see what it says Street of Crafts. Keep on moving along here. All right, sounds like there's a little bit of life up here. I'm gonna take a right. Keep on going up the hill. Or, let's have a look at this little intersection here. Okay, this is the tourist info center. I'll show you guys. Yeah. Cool. I think we're getting towards the top. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this building. Jesus. Christ. Pretty stunning building or house. It's all woodwork. See how it's bowed. Beautiful. Some flowers in each flower box. It's a lot of flower boxes. 36, it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17 flower boxes. Even more, my god. Every single window is a flower box. Looks like we can get to the top of the hill here and look out. Beer house. Nice restaurant. Closed? <laughs> Shit. There's no... I can't just look? Two minutes? Just run up, run down? Just to look. Just to see.
Yeah, I heard them. You don't have to repeat. I heard them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just got the boot. Not allowed to look at the top. That's disappointing. 